I made a couple of videos last Friday um, a little different from the normal format that I do and this is going to be kind of a, a mix of that which is I'm going to include different articles in there but the theme or the point of this video isn't just for news and uh, basically it was prompted by what by the New Mexico shooting um, of this homeless man and people were saying that you know this is it this is it you keep hearing that and I was trying to make a point that they're not coming for your guns or at least uh, they don't fear you or your guns that was the thing because we don't have community so the and I was trying to break down and redefine the terms of what is community there's a community a social community where people voluntarily organize then there's a, a a financial community or a corporate community where people organize based off finance so even in this scenario this week that I'm going to talk about you still see people organizing uh, such as this Bundy right uh, the Bundy ranch and the government uh, you know terrorists attacking them you see the same thing which is people are organizing but it's based off some kind of financial interest so what I'm concerned of is that we're heading in that same that same scenario this week that I, you know this theme of you know out southwest and west you know, the federal government's you know lynching down on people's freedoms and so people are ready to revolt and what i fear like i said last week in that video you might want to watch it why americans haven't revolted yet is you're gonna be you're gonna be played as pawns, and I just wouldn't like to. See, I don't want to see that. You know, I wouldn't like seeing people used like that um, as cannon fodder, right? And I, I I share your beliefs of freedom and individual freedom, and you know having your own little area that you can call yours and stuff like that. But what I don't want to see is people getting duped that somehow their individual freedom is being violated so much to the point that they're really going to carry arms and go fight for someone else's financial interests being attacked. So what I'm seeing is similar to what I was talking about last week where I mentioned as an example um, the Boston Tea Party and stuff and it had to do with corporate tax and by the King of England So this is between rich people and rich people and then of course um, The average Joe getting sucked into it uh, for idealism Like these militias are heading down to this uh, ranch in Nevada uh, These ranchers as some of you may know yes, they're hard grit and they built it from their you know their business from their bare hands um, but that's not 100% true, and I'm not promoting government and big government, so don't you know misinterpret what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that that land was either given to them because they were going to work it and pay taxes to the state, uh, to the government, or they just flat out bought it from the government. Well, where did that land come from? Well, it was acquired, you could say, uh, between you know the wars between what uh, U.S. Mexico. And uh, never mind the people that were inhabiting that place before, that land was acquired through some kind of killing through the Union Army and stuff like that um, uh, to get that land to sell to them. So if it wasn't for that federal government, they wouldn't have that land to begin with. And I'll go into that in this series and try to look at this, analyze it from um, my own perspective, I guess. How, what's my take on it, you know? It'll probably take two videos, three videos, um, uh, to do that because it's not a very, it's not a very easy issue to cover because I, I could be insulting people's ideals or their beliefs, and uh, and I that's not my goal. My goal is to help people see through all of these different angles that are being played against us, so that we truly can be free. Okay, so that's my introduction. A little almost five minute introduction uh, recently right we had uh, this uh, this knifing right this knife attack uh, you know what was it 21 people were 
stabbed by the 16 year old student in Pennsylvania. And Pierce Morgan, he was apparently uh, trolled, as they said, or attacked on Twitter by what Salon refers to as wing nuts. We know it's a, this is because, of course, Pierce Morgan and, you know, he had Alex Jones going on, going at it on TV and stuff. And, and uh, there's this big theme, or what I hear a lot is, and this is what people commented last week on Friday uh, was, was that guns don't kill people, people do. And I agree with that totally. I, you know, I, I agree with that totally. Um, but that wasn't the point of the video last week. You know, why haven't Americans revolted yet? That I, I was trying to really get into it, you know, and I think a lot of people didn't really get that point. The, the point was because there's no real community. So, you know, with this, knife's, uh, this knife attack, people are going saying, well, you know, are they going to have knife control now? You know, because I guess that would that would kind of prove their point that it's not guns that kill people, it's people. That he would, the kid was even asked by reporters, why'd you do it, why'd you do it, right? And all he said, it's society. It's just more symptoms of society uh, that are taking place, like in China. They have, this was March 2014, last month, continues to happen. I've covered this for the last two or three years. These uh, stabbing frenzies in China. They have their own engineering of uh, their society one child policy with the tiger mom so we're seeing this over here now and that that's kind of frightening to me because this isn't the uh, first case this recent stabbing I think it's the second so that's almost becomes a trend so I have to question well the right question why'd you do it that, that individual the 16 year old he doesn't know why he did it he may come up with some kind of reasoning you know when he's questioned but he doesn't even know why so why are you asking some simple answer because he wants a simple solution which is what can we do and that is let's how can we do this we, he needs to be psychologically evaluated he needs to be on medication we need to ban guns we have to have more security no one even questions the fact that he's probably feeling very very isolated very isolated like many people out there are and it's going to get more and more like that like consolidation cattle ranchers worried about natural gas coming in or oil and stuff consolidation so you're going to lose more individual freedom, and people are going to become more fragmented as more communities are broken down, um, and you're going to feel more isolated, and you don't know how to react to, say, a one-child policy where there's not enough girls to, to be with or not enough money to have a family. I mean, it's going to, it's going to get worse and worse. But I always think it's, don't, don't ask that question, how can we prevent it? It's, uh, or, you know, why did you do it? It's just ask the right questions. Yeah, this uh, shooting of the homeless man spurs protest over police brutality. I saw Anonymous was involved in it. Kind of have to take a step back, you know. I didn't know what to make of it yet. You know, with video, you can't... I don't trust video anymore when they show stuff like that. Um, I went into this whole thing, watched the video last week, but I think it's to trigger something. And like I said, it's, it's to trigger the, ne uh, the next revolution in America it and, and I think that and again don't get offended but this is why I don't listen to Alex Jones anymore I think that he and Infowars are there to create and engineer the 10% like they did uh, back in the first revolution um, I like limited government but I like it even more limited government which is no government as as we know it I believe in self-government so I agree with many people that, are, that would be watching this in principle. But I don't think that you're just going to have some limited government and then, you know, uh, it's just going to stay like that. you got to kill people to kill uh, to uh, maintain it. So people say, well, you got to have cops, you know, to maintain order and peace, you know. They don't want to not have them at all. The cattle ranchers want to have federal subsidies and farm aid and all that stuff, bring water and infrastructure, um, take out other industries, that are competing against them, uh, but then when 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 that same hand that fed them said, "Well, we're going to either raise taxes or we don't want you here to save the tortoises," uh, now it's oh well you're infringing on my rights on my freedom. So people will identify with that ideology of something that's very obvious that we have a police state. It's militarized. Uh, there's one. And uh, it's, it's getting bad and it's getting worse.
No one can deny that. But people are going to start the revolution, let's say, now because not because their financial interests have been somehow swept into this. Whole. It's because this cattle rancher, uh, his profits are, are going to no longer be there. So, you know, were the Bundys helping smaller cattle ranchers uh, when they were going under or being squashed out by big business or the government? I don't know. I Honestly, I don't know the whole full particulars, but I would imagine that they didn't because it didn't, it didn't really affect their, their own individual financial interest. I mean, from what I know, regular farmers um, in the Midwest or ranchers in Texas and the West, um, they're not uh, paupers. They can be millionaires easily. Uh, these farmers, like corn farmers, did they help like a local family farm out when they were going under? No. So we're seeing the bigger swallow up the smaller, the new taking over the old. And into this, you know, like with globalism, it's swallowing up nationalism. Nationalism uh, overtook what? We had the Civil War. Uh, you had a different type of, a different type of system, you know, a, a more of just state-based. Of course, before that, you had uh, tribes. Uh, actually, the Sioux Nation became the nation. The Sioux Tribe Nation it was huge. It was taking up other people's, other tribes' um, lands, their hunting grounds. They became huge. So they were swallowing up all the other smaller tribes that couldn't compete against them, and then they themselves got overtaken by the Europeans. And they were able to do that, why? Because they accepted, when the Spanish came, there was all these horses, and uh, they basically adopted that into their culture, adopting this Western, or this European thing of horses. So I can't, I can't defend this guy. I, certainly I wouldn't wanna go and all the way to Nevada and fight for this guy's financial interests be there for you when you had to fork up more taxes for Obamacare or sign on to it or whatever. There's different reasons. All of us are isolated and we're being um, terrorized, right, by this ever-growing federal government. So, no, he wasn't there and uh, we're supposed to rush to that. Now, like I said, he represents the old order. Is the old order better than the new order? No. I don't agree with that either, so I can't I can't fight for this guy uh, ideologically or anything, because he's being naive to think that he's going to have some kind of limited government. He's gonna he's gonna use the federal government, but at the same time say that well, you know I'm willing to accept all these little you know things that they do for me when it's good for me. These are you know these are the same people that fly the American flags and stuff like that, you know refer to themselves as, you know, real Americans and patriots. And you'll hear them say, you know, this country is not what it, is, what, what, what it was and uh, we're heading into socialism or communism or, you know, it's just basically the U.S. is it's just bad and it's getting worse. But basically what they're saying is that uh, they're getting less for themselves. So as globalism comes, they're going to have more factory farms. Uh, those cattle ranchers aren't going to be needed. They can grow them, you know, whatever, uh, genetically modified now. So uh, clone them, whatever. The point is, is that they're no longer needed. They're obsolete. And those lands, you know, with tortoises and stuff like that, either A, they're being bought out. They're just being out lobbied. They're not paying the cut to the federal government. They can't afford it anymore because natural gas and oil industry is a lot more profitable, which means that the federal government would rather do business with them because they can re get more in return on their investment. It, was, it wasn't the cattle rancher's land. <laughs> it, it was land that was rented to them, which is why they have to pay taxes, property taxes, for as long as they are inhabiting that land. So A, they're just not paying them enough uh, B, they're not paying them enough to outbid natural gas and those type of companies. Along comes the government all of a sudden and, you know, they're worried about the tortoises, right? Or even possibly choice C, which is these lands are being declared sanctuaries, environmental sanctuaries. Again, not for the tortoises, but for the new uh, Bundy ranchers, the globalists. 
who want their whole swaths of hundreds of thousands of acres of land. Please join me in part two and possibly part three. Thank you.